for GE Light Solutions and then GE Architectural. Hi, I'm Jack Tully. I work for Light Tech. We're a representative for GE Light Solutions and a GE Architectural Lighting Product. I was asked for a couple of uh, specifiers to try and do a little video to help clarify how the proper wiring should be done on the Tetra Contour. It's shown in the sheet, however, I understand that a lot of people are reading the sheet, so they want me to do a little video to show how it goes together so it's done properly and doesn't come out. Look like I a bunch of spaghetti or with a lot of shadow because it's done wired and correctly. Now the unit itself comes as eight feet, but it's actually six 16 inch sections here. And it's cuttable at every three inches. There's a little notch in the back, or if you look here, you'll see there's a black chip and then two white, and you go to the back and you can feel it, and right there's where you cut it. Now, in terms of putting on the eclipse without the light guide, that seems to be the issue. The clips go every eight inches, so we have this one clipped in here. And then when you come to the second one, to properly do this is take the clip and to bend the wire evenly, like this. And there's a little channel here within the clip. Put the first one in, it just snaps in. Oh, a little tough there. And then wire goes in the channel, it's tucked underneath. And there we have the connection where you don't have to do the wire. And it fits right underneath, so there's no shadowing at all here. And the next one just simply goes into the unit itself here. Now, the next one here is the one everybody's questioning. This here, you have three wires, the two outside, and one inside, and that's the way they're wired. So I'm going to take the two what I did here to help things is I took the middle wire, I cut a little shorter, so when I put the wire nut on, I use a gray smaller one. What we end up doing is we don't have them knocking each other, they go right underneath each other. So we'll take the two gray ones first, the two shorter ones I should say, in the middle, wire nut them together, take the other four, the two outside from either side. Okay, now keep in mind when we're doing this, we want this so that it's wired down, okay? So that we're going to end up doing this. So it tucks underneath. So let's take this one, I'm going to switch it to the other side here. Okay, all four wires together. And we put the wire nut together here. And we take this, as I said, we bend them underneath each other. Same way we've done that one. Snap this one in first, on the one side. Snap this one in second, because you have the wire underneath it. And tuck the wire nuts right underneath it. We do the same thing going down, the entire run. However you want to mark it, either a chalk line, or just simply marking it with a ruler, okay? Want to tighten it up a little here, that's fine. And then we'll plug it in and see how this works. There you go. Now you can see, you can barely see where it is that the intersections are. I'll tighten this up a little maybe. But overall, you're not going to be able to tell anything at all about where it is. And that's what the issue has been. It's been a lot of shadowing. There's no shadowing down the whole length of the fixture. They said tuck the wires in between right underneath. This, take the two different wires, the four, the two outside, the two inside, and then the one on the inside together. Make the one inside a little shorter so that these can tuck around it, or underneath. You can barely see them. Uh, we also have the light guide, but that light guide goes on with a different clip. But this should help solve the issues of the poor wiring within the connection. You shouldn't have any shadowing, you shouldn't have any gap, and you should use the gray wire connectors because it's the smallest one and fit very snugly underneath. If you have any questions, you can call me at my office, 
five, uh, 212 695 7090. Thank you.